Hey guys, welcome to the first ever Kindlepreneur YouTube channel video. I know it's kind of crazy and I'm sure in a couple years we're going to look back at this and we're probably going to laugh at it. However though, I really wanted to start creating the content and especially on this important topic of how to start a publishing company. Now a lot of people think that starting a publishing company is sort of a pride thing, right? Hey, I've got my own publishing company. But there's actually a lot of reasons why a self-published author who's only even just done one book should really consider setting up their own limited liability corporation or other version of a corporation. Okay, and so we're gonna get into that next, all right? So, first off, why should you start a publishing company? All right, the biggest reason as to why somebody should do that is because it gives them financial protection, all right? When you put a product out there, you're open for attack, okay? Not just your book, but you personally. So maybe you make the mistake and you use a picture that somebody owns the rights to, okay? You may say to yourself, well, I buy my pictures on Shutterstock. If you read the fine print, it actually says in there that they're absolved of any issues. So in case they sold you a picture that uh, is copywritten, um, they won't be held liable, you will. So you kind of, you may think you're doing it right, but you never know, okay? So by setting up a limited liability corporation or so, if your book is attacked by some big publisher or somebody with a really good lawyer, um, then they can take the money from the company, okay, your limited liability company, but they can't come after you. Just go on the internet and check it out. There are a lot of authors that have had this happen to them. So don't just think you're, you know, small chances that'll happen to me. It actually does. So the next thing is taxes. I, I really love this for two parts. One, I have my own personal income and the business has its own kin income. If I were to combine the two, I would actually be put in a higher tax bracket, which would you know, kind of suck um, because that means higher percentage of taxes. I actually save a lot more money by doing this than if I were just to combine the two. The second aspect to that too is you have business expenses. Do you go to any publishing events? Do you like to buy books? Um, you know, the way I see it is any book I buy that I use for research purposes is a business expense. Um, and so therefore it takes off the total revenue of the company, which is the tax part that you report. So the other thing too, is I'm going on, uh, to the tr tropical think tank with some of the big wigs like John Lee Dumas, you know, and Chris Ducker. And that is a business expense, which is nice. Okay. And finally, of course, there is the legitimacy factor. Okay. Um, a author by themselves writing is one thing, but if you have a limited liability corporation, it's something to put in your book that gives you kind of that whole, Hey, I'm the next step in professionalism because yes, I have incorporated. So, so there's that. All right. Now you may be asking yourself, well, how do I start a publishing company? And it, it seems like a scary subject. Okay. First off, I would recommend going to kindlepreneur.com and checking out our extremely uh, extensive look on how you can do this and how to choose the right one. But for the purposes of this video, we're going to go ahead and take a peek over my shoulder as I show you exactly how I would go about starting my next LLC and how I have done it in the past. Okay. I use a website called mynewcompany.com. They make it super easy. Okay. And no, you don't have to worry about what state you are in case you're in like California where it's, you know, you know, or, or tax Massachusetts or something. Um, you can actually set up virtual offices so that your business can be in a very tax, uh, perfect type place. Like for example, Wyoming and Las Vegas are two of the biggest places to start your business. So it has a lot of options for you. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Okay guys, here we are on mynewcompany.com. All right. Again, this is a website that has a complete service set up for anyone wanting to start a business. Now say you're, you're like, okay, I, I might want to start one of these. Let's go ahead and jump on start a company. Pretty easy, right? Okay. Now before the, you get here, there are a couple things you want to look at. You want to look at what will be your company name, what type of company, things like that. Okay. There's S Corp you know, limited liability corporations, proprietorships, and so forth. If you go to our article on how to start a publishing company, there's actually links on how you can make a informed decision on that. Um, and as I always say too, I am not a lawyer. So if you have any questions or so, I would highly recommend getting in contact with a lawyer so that, you know, you get the right 
point. For the purposes of this video though, we're gonna show you how to actually start up your own limited liability corporation because to me, that's kind of the best of all worlds. It's easier to set up. It is a corporation. A lot of people think proprietorships are, but they actually give you no protection. Um, and it just seems to fit more in what I think the publishing world, you know, the self publishers business structure is more in line with. Okay. So now we're here on this page and again, it's choosing what you want to form. In this case, I highly recommend forming a LLC, but again, do your research, make sure you choose the right one. Okay. And here is my favorite page of all. Okay. As you can see, we have a whole lineup. Okay. And it has the pricing options and everything, but right up here in the top, select a state here. You can select any state. And what I really like about this is by selecting a state, you can actually look at some of the prices and what you would have to pay state fees. Um, you know, you have the state fees, their package fees, which are usually mine. And, you can also kind of find those little extra tidbits on what costs what. Notice that in Texas, who a lot of people think is actually a really good place to start a business, um, there are actually a lot of kind of hidden, hidden taxes in there. And so it's not the most tax friendliest place for small businesses and things like that. My favorite on the other hand comes down to Wyoming and you can see our own developed chart kind of showing you exactly what you're looking at for reoccurring costs and taxes and stuff. Um, I actually set my set up my first two limited liability corporations on, uh, or in Las Vegas and then later realized, Hmm. Yeah. Wyoming's kind of the better one right now. So let's go ahead and look at that. Okay, so here we are seeing Wyoming. Look at that. It is only a total of $299. That's if you get their $199 package. Uh, the state fee is only $100. You will find cheaper. However, though, uh, if you look into the tax codes and what the reoccurring costs are, you'll actually find that this one will kind of be the better one. First off, it has no sales tax, which is great. You will also find that in Las Vegas, but Las Vegas just added some renewal fees that bumps you up another $200 or $300 bucks for the uh, total cost. So that's not exactly cool anymore, but, um, Wyoming on the other hand offers no sales tax state sales tax that is. And again, a very low state fee and reoccurring fee, which is great. Okay. For me, I look at the packages. Now I actually selected the, um, best value, but for most, I wouldn't recommend doing that. You know, you can select up or select the entrepreneur package. All right. What is the difference? Well, first off, you can go ahead and look at the selections here and we have the availability searches, prepare file art. Okay. So the file articles of organization is huge. That's a lot of work taken care of for you. Again, the next is personalized organizational minutes. You do have to maintain these. So if you do not buy them from someone, you're going to have to do the, um, online search. And when you find one, you'll have to update it with your particular information. Then you have the LLC operating agreement. Again, all these are full of documents that you're going to have to search for your state, find print, uh, make sure you fill it out correctly, mail it along with other stuff to basically get the state to accept it. And the worst part is, is that if you don't know of a form or you miss one, you are not an entity and you may be operating thinking you are because you've got one form that says you are, but if you don't have them all, you haven't really done anything. So. Um, you have a handbook, which they're great. So they give you all the information. I, matter of fact, when you get your handbook and you get your product, it is amazingly simple to run right through. Okay. And within no time you have a legitimate, um, company. One of the big things is of obtaining the federal tax ID. Okay. Now for all you publishers out there, this federal tax ID is what gets you your publishing account on KDP, not just the self publisher, but the publishing account that gives you a lot more options and a lot more things you can do because you are a business. This also allows you to own more than one of uh, uh, Amazon associate account and KDP account because the tax ID is what separates you from just you and a business there, a business is a separate entity, which means it gets its own account. So it's really nice to have two accounts. Okay. Um, I did get the kit and the seal and the membership certificates, the company forms. These are, you know, really important and help, but I needed this. This is why I set up for the, um, for the complete package. I needed a registered agent service. As you guys know, Kindlepreneur, or excuse me, the name is actually ebookpreneur LLC, uh, is located out of Wyoming. But for those of you who have read my about me page, 
I live in Sri Lanka. I'm an American, but I live in Sri Lanka. So I needed a registered agent to operate and the business to sign for the business. And so I needed that. So I signed up for it, which is great. Uh, I got a discount by adding the two together. And then finally too, I have a virtual office. So monthly I pay uh, about 50 bucks. This gives me a online phone faxing. It's, we have a physical office address. And so our mail goes there and they redirect it. They basically take care of everything. This virtual office aspect allows me to have lots of different, um, it allows me to actually choose which state I want to be a part of, which is nice. So after you've done that, you know, you can do rush filing. I wouldn't recommend it. Just stick with the free shipping aspect. You order it. And when you've ordered this, okay, it comes to the next page. And I mean, it's simple information. It is not a big deal. Okay. So here, your contact information, your shipping information, choose the name. Okay. Little blurb about what the business is about business address so where is it going to be if it's different from you highly recommend having a different address whether you're using p.o box or a virtual office you can find out more on my post about this and then of course you know if you have a registered agent did you choose them or not and just some basics about the about the members okay and whether or not you want to obtain that federal tax id which i highly recommend after that, boom, you hit save review, you pay for it, and within about a couple of weeks, everything will be done and filed for you. You'll just get a package, you just sign some things, send it back, and you are now a publishing company, which is really nice. So I really hope you enjoyed that little tutorial and sh show over the shoulder on how to start your own limited liability corporation. Uh, as you guys probably know, Kindlepreneur.com is a website devoted to helping self-publishers make that next step. I hope you go ahead and check it out. But more importantly, though, please find us on Facebook. Join our Facebook group. It is an incredible community. And on top of that, I'm putting some of the best information out there on Facebook because I'm kind of a big Facebook fan. And my second favorite, of course, is LinkedIn. Find me on LinkedIn and contact me. I love to talk with you guys. And if you need advice or help or anything, go ahead and get in touch and I will be there. Finally, too, I have a free book out there on Amazon Kindle Rankings. If you've ever wanted to figure out how to make your book show up higher in the Amazon search results, of which I call the ARPs, um, the, this is it. It's going to tell you how to change a couple of words and basically change things around so that you rank higher for the words you want. And that's completely free. So go ahead and sign up for that. Just click any of the buttons on this video screen and you'll be there. Hey, thanks so much. I'm Dave Chesson of Kindlepreneur.com signing off. Cheers.